We're at the end of our two month stay in Nairobi, Kenya. It's been an experience unlike any other for me. So without further ado, let me walk you through five things I learned as an American living in Nairobi. In our two months here, we stayed in two different apartments, both of them on Gong Road, a major street in Nairobi. And during this time, I took so many walks on Gong Road and I learned so much. It's one thing in the US to drive past strip mall after strip mall, see all these stores next to each other. It's something entirely different to see these individual vendors and their individual stations selling things the way they do. There's something about it that feels so much more natural and so much more casual. I just, I like the vibe of it. These Gong Road walks have really become a staple of my time here. It's been an amazing way to experience the area, to clear my head. All in all, I've probably walked more than 50 miles back and forth down Gong Road in my time here. I can tell you where to buy the best couch. I can tell you where to have a beautiful live edge custom table made. I can tell you where to get a custom tent made. I can tell you where to get a play structure for your kids, and I can tell you where to find all kinds of amazing things in between. I know how to walk to multiple different malls in multiple different directions. I know how to find great local fresh groceries, just like these bananas I picked up right here on our street. We came to this small local grocery store. Which way is it? Okay, so this is 60 shillings. It's been an incredible learning experience. It's been an incredible way to experience Nairobi. I wouldn't take any of it back. Next is dining. There are so many options in Nairobi. From a place on the side of the street in a little makeshift shack where you can buy delicious tasting food for next to nothing, all the way to fine dining experiences at a value that is unbelievable to anybody coming from the US. Let me show you one such example. There's nowhere in North America that I'm aware of where you can have an experience and an atmosphere like this for Applebee's money. An honorable mention, although it's not nearly as good of a value, wanted to show you Olaserani Amara, very close to the Nairobi airport. Another thing that makes it onto this list, because there's so many interesting ones to choose from in Nairobi, is the malls. From the gigantic and modern Two Rivers, to the upscale and full of character village market, the colorful Imara, to the junction. And there's so many options in between. There's the funky greenhouse, there's the Adams Arcade, there's so many more that I don't even have time to mention. One of the things that I find very interesting and very useful is that it's typical for malls here to include a grocery store. There's something really nice about parking in a mall parking lot, doing everything that you're gonna do in the mall, and then you leave with your groceries. It's all in one place. And especially with regard to Village Market, and another honorable mention, the hub Karen, the atmosphere is so nice. It's just a really nice place to spend time. Though I've talked about this in the past, it deserves an honorable mention in this video because of just how relevant it is. And this applies to not only just Nairobi, but all of Kenya, and that is M-Pesa. M-Pesa is basically super Venmo. In the US, we're used to using Venmo to split a bar tab with our friend, pay somebody to mow our lawn, pay somebody to watch our pets. Small transactions like that in Kenya, M-Pesa is one of the most, if not the most, universal ways to pay 
for anything. Groceries in a store? Pay for clothes. It works to pay your hotel bill. Pay for parking. It works all the same ways as Venmo to exchange money with friends and family, but also at any major business. People accept M-Pesa that do not accept credit cards. You can use it anywhere. And in the US, we just don't have anything that's that universal. Even credit cards aren't as universal. So it's really nice to be able to have one unified way to exchange money and to pay for things. The final entry on this list is something that I care about deeply as a lifelong car enthusiast, and that is the Nairobi Car Bazaar. The Car Bazaar is a marketplace in person. You can go there to buy cars. You can go there to sell cars. You can go there to just casually walk around and browse as we did. It's a really cool thing. It happens just off Gong Road every Sunday for most of the day. It was really cool to be able to see all these used vehicles in one place, all in various price points, various conditions. Car Bazaar was a really cool experience. And because I haven't seen anything like it in the US, it deserves a spot on this list. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. As you can see, I'm somewhere different right now. We are on another adventure, our biggest one yet. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you stay tuned because you do not want to miss what's coming. Yeah.